All right, now, just hold your horses. It's coming. I hope you like it. Looks just fine to me. I was talking about the bird. <laughs> so was I, Rachel. Honest. Doing? I was. The milk's got mine of its own. Yeah, it's amazing how cow juice behaves in the presence of a lady. You guys are disgusting, Lou. <laughs> Let's get one thing straight before we go any further. Supper's on the table, gentlemen, and I am not on the menu. Going somewhere? Yep. Not before you and I have a little talk, woman to woman. Who told you that? Tell me what? And I'm a girl. You mean there's someone who doesn't know? Teaspoon? You're not serious. He'd fire me if he knew. Well, maybe he chose not to know, but that's his problem. We gotta talk about ours. It's all the same to you. I don't feel like it right now. Well, I do. Look. Nobody asked you to come here. Really? The help wanted sign I saw said different. Then why don't you just stick to cooking and cleaning and minding your own damn business? You got a problem with me. And no one is leaving here till we air it out. Mm, exactly. What? I said it ain't you exactly. Then what is it? I don't know. I guess I'm just tired of the way the boys have been making fools out of themselves over you and looking down your and watching your and drooling over your breasts. So that's the problem. Problems. You got them and I don't. God, I don't believe I said that. Must be losing my mind. No. It's not your mind you've lost. It's just your sense of perspective. You see, the good Lord gave women breasts for one purpose and one purpose only, to nurse children. Now, the fact that some of those children grow up to be men who still see women as their wet nurses, it's just our way of separating the wheat from the chaff. Never thought about it that way before. Sorry. I guess I've been kind of hard on you. For no good reason. Well, I think there were two very good reasons. But I think there's a third that we're not talking about. Hmm. Emma. Oh. Now, from what I heard, she loved you all like her own, and you loved her back, so. Well, it's only natural that you'd be protective of that love. I would be, too. Just be careful of one thing. That in protecting that love, you don't build a wall so high that no other love can get in. Excuse me. 
excuse me, but I believe that was my horse. Just drove off. That worn out old bucket of bones? No great loss. Maybe you're right. Especially since you're gonna give me your horse, your money, and that mangy dog of yours for lunch. <laughs> <laughs> well now, that's most interesting, mister. Lunch sound good to you, fella? Then go get it. Feel like having lunch? Come on, then. I don't know better to sneak up on me like that. It wasn't sneaking. Just watching. I never realized how heavy this little thing can be. What's that? Just a piece of tennis, all. And it open. You got nothing better to do than poke around my stuff? No. Gee, Spoon, how come you strapped this thing on again? Because Sam asked me to. Before his replacement gets here. I know that. What I don't know is why. 